The Galaxy M30 was a successful smartphone for Samsung in the sub 20,000 rupees price bracket and ever since all the succeeding smartphones that is the M30s, the M31, the M31s have been very popular. So it was obvious that the company wanted to bank on the glory of its ever popular smartphone lineup and so here it is the latest entrant in the Samsung Galaxy M30 lineup. This is the Galaxy M32. So let's check it out. Hello everyone, Aman here for Mr. Phone and uh, before we begin like this video subscribe to the channel and also press that bell icon so that you don't miss any of our latest updates Just like its predecessors, the Galaxy M32 features a 6.4 inch Full HD display but this time around, Samsung has swapped the 60Hz Super AMOLED panel in favor of a 90Hz Super AMOLED panel. And guys, at least for the display, you don't need to wait for my full review because I said this a zillion times by now that a Samsung is the king when it comes to making amazing a smartphone displays. This one here is no different. An excellent panel with good color reproduction and wide viewing angles. Samsung claims that this panel can reach peak brightness levels of up to 800 nits and I'm happy to report in terms of brightness, this phone does not disappoint. Okay, in terms of build quality, polycarbonate construction of course, but solid, I must say. I haven't come across any loose ends or flexes. Top notch quality. As for the design, I actually like the neat aesthetic at the back. The fingerprint reader is now embedded into the power button and overall, as I said, it looks neat. Although the glossy finish is a smudge fest and I wish a Samsung would have provided a matte alternative as well. Because frankly, the design looks cool. These lines look cool. The smudges, well, not so cool. Speaking of the fingerprint reader, well, a physical one and so what if it is shifted to the side? It is fast and accurate and that is all that matters. Bezels on the front are fine, the chin is slightly thick but in line with what the competition offers. Speaking of being in line with the competition, well, don't expect good haptics on this smartphone or for that matter on any smartphone in this budget. And just like the others, the Galaxy M32 also comes with a single bottom firing speaker. Which isn't loudest I would say but at least it doesn't distort at high volumes which is good. In terms of ports and buttons, the volume rockers provide good tactile feedback. The 3.5mm headphone jack is here. There's a USB Type-C port for charging and data transfers. The Galaxy M32 is powered by the MediaTek Helio G80 chipset and comes in two variants. 4GB RAM plus 64GB storage and 6GB RAM plus 128GB storage and storage by the way is expandable here. Handling the software needs is One UI 3.1 atop Android 11. There is Knox security which is great, there's secure folder, Samsung Pay Mini is also here which is good. You also get a slew of Samsung apps and services pre-installed along with third-party bloatware apps pre-installed as well, most of which can be deleted thankfully. Otherwise, One UI coupled with Helio G80 has been good so far. For that matter, thanks to the 90Hz panel, transitions and animations are very smooth and general performance has been good. Although in terms of gaming, the Helio G80 does limit the graphics to just medium in Call of Duty Mobile, that's the highest you can go. And while playing Call of Duty was a stutter-free experience, it would have been better if the MediaTek chipset could have allowed for higher graphics settings and frame rates. Overall, I haven't ran into any form of performance issues yet and I hope uh, it stays this way. More on this coming up in the full review. Apart from this, no 5G on the smartphone which is fine according to me because anyway 5G is not coming soon. But 4G carrier aggregation is also missing here which won't be an issue in general usage but in places where there is weak connectivity like basements or remote areas. I think that's where 4G carrier aggregation would have been effective. In terms of endurance, a massive 6000 mAh battery is provided under the hood and this phone is a battery champ, no doubt. It easily lasts two days, although charging times should be improved. I mean, it takes about two and a half hours for a full charge. 
for me it is not a big deal because anyway i charge my phone overnight so be it two hours or two minutes it doesn't matter but it can definitely be an issue for those who want those quick top ups in those dire situations finally in terms of optics a quad rear camera setup on this phone that you get the main camera is a 64 megapixel unit backed by an 8 megapixel ultra wide lens and a couple of 2 megapixel macro and depth sensors at the front is a 20 megapixel selfie snapper situated in the dewdrop notch here are some samples that i took in my brief time with the device take a look at them and let me know what you guys think and that's about it for my first impressions of the galaxy m32 no major flags apart from the 4g carrier aggregation thingy and overall the device looks good the build is solid a little chunky of course but solid excellent display and excellent battery life now it remains to be seen how this mediatek chipset inside the smartphone performs in the longer run so stay tuned for the full review that's all for now i'll see you guys in the next one thank you for watching